Story number five is Dylan in the playground. So in all of our other stories, we have learned how it's important to work together, how important it is to work hard to earn our money, how important it is to save our money. And so now we're going to learn some important things to help others that have to do with money. Dylan's first day of school was busy. <clears throat> His favorite part of the day was when Miss Blair read to the class. Everyone had to sit in a circle on the floor. Miss Blair told the students that they had to be very quiet and listen. Dylan really liked the story. It was about a boy and his dog. When Dylan's mom picked him up in the afternoon, she asked Dylan if he had a fun day his first day of school. <clears throat> Dylan told his mom that he had a good day. He said he really liked it when Miss Blair read to the class. Dylan's, at, Dylan's mom asked him if they had played on the outside, on the playground. Dylan said no. Miss Blair had said that they could not play on the swings and jungle gym. <clears throat> the swings and jungle gym had been there for a very long time. Dylan told his mom the school wanted to buy new equipment for the playground. The next day, Miss Blair told the students that the whole school was going to help raise money to buy new equipment for the playgrounds. Dylan and the other students had decided what they were going to do to help. <clears throat> Dylan's friend Jesse said they could sell candy bars. Miss Blair thought that was a good idea, but the second graders were already selling candy. Miss Blair said she had an idea. She told the class that they could raise money by reading. They were confused. The class didn't understand. Miss Blair said that the students could read books aloud with an adult. They could raise one cent for every minute a student read aloud with an adult or an adult read aloud to a student. Who will pay us? asked Jesse. Miss Blair said the students should ask their families, friends, and neighbors if they would help. Everyone thought this was a great idea. Dylan was very excited when he and his mother picked him up. He told her all about Miss Blair's idea. Dylan's mother thought it was a good idea too. That night, Dylan and his mother started reading their first book. His mom read to him for 10 minutes, so he raised 10 cents. The children in Dylan's class read with their parents that night. Jessie read with her mother. Jessie's mother is blind. That means she cannot see. But she can read to Jessie by using braille. Jessie and her mother read for 20 minutes. So Jessie earned 20 cents. Every night, Dylan and his classmates read with their families. Dylan even read when his grandfather came to visit. Dylan sat with his grandfather in a big chair while they read. The children collected money from their families, friends, and neighbors and took it to school. Soon the class had an entire jar full of money. One day it was finally time for all the classes to give their money to the principal. The principal counted the money the principal told the children that they had raised enough money for the new playground equipment. How exciting! Because everyone worked together, the school would be a better place. Dylan and his friends really enjoyed the new playground. So because they worked really hard to earn their money and save that money, the school got to buy new playground equipment. So everyone gets to enjoy that playground. So it's important to let them let your children know that yes, it's important to work hard and save your money to buy something that you want, but it's also important to help others. That was our fifth and final lesson. Thanks for tuning in.